Good afternoon everyone, this is Sam from the Dorset Echo. I'm currently on Weymouth Town Bridge and it is hot today. So um, there's been visitors that have descended on Weymouth from all across the country for the hottest weekend of the year so far. Temperatures are reaching around 25 degrees today for areas like Weymouth, Portland and then to the west including Bridport and Lyme Regis. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a moot through the town centre and the harbour and then make our way to Weymouth Beach. So as I said, I'm currently on Weymouth Town Bridge. The town centre seems quite busy today, but we are going to take custom house key. The awkward thing when people think I'm taking pictures of them and I'm just filming a live. So yeah, we're currently on Custom House Key and it's, it's quite busy. United fan there. As I said, there seems to be visitors that have flocked all across the country hitting the south coast this weekend. And uh, I don't know whether you're out, but I'm currently sweating. <laughs> it's very hot. So this is Maiden Street. thought I'd take the viewers on a quick historical tour of the, the old ball in the wall. Bit of historical significance for Weymouth and the Malcolm Regis area. The closet there. It also should be noted that it seems clubs and bars and pubs and everything else is going to be reopening fully on Monday. So whether you're a bit apprehensive about that or whether you can't wait for it, let us know. And you can contact us at newsdesk at dorsetecho.co.uk. Give us your viewpoint on the matter. You know, it'll be the first time that things have opened up since well, March 2020. So, I mean, personally, I'm looking forward to it, but... At the same time, admittedly, I am a bit apprehensive. I'm so used to wearing a mask all the time. Also today, we've done a few stories on. There's a lot of emergency services that are expected to be stretched today and tomorrow and possibly Monday as well with everything that's opening up. You know, the usage of the word stretched arguably being an understatement as well. There's a lot of police officers that have had to go and undergone a lot more training, actually. We've done a few stories on that. You can visit the Dorset Echo website and read all about that. Or visit our blog that's live right now on the website as well. There's also a few stories that we've done about that could concern dog owners. So for all you dog owners, there's a piece online and, and embedded into our live blog on our website, which gives advice and tips for helping your pets cope with the heat. So yeah, check that out on our website. vibes all around which is quite nice after the uh, mood that we've been in since England lost the final against Italy um, you know Monday was a bit of a drag but yeah the good weather's helping
So I'm just on the Esplanade now. God, it is warm and it smells like fish and chips. It's really nice. There's a few seagulls hovering as well. I think they're going to be uh, nicking a few chips off people. Currently in Weymouth Beach. We'll have a walk down the Esplanade. We've done a few stories about fire safety as well, so if you Wanted to a barbecue, obviously that's the main priority today for some people who have gardens, but um, we have a lot of advice and safety measures that we've, uh, we've wrote about and we've embedded that into our live blog as well and there's a few articles on our website. We'll also be keeping you up to date as much as possible with the traffic around the area, not just for the Weymouth area, but the A35 areas like that and and uh, West Dorset as well. I think further down here the beach does seem to be a bit more rammed. Yeah, definitely more packed. So I'm going to sign off now. Um, if you want to send any pictures or videos, just contact us via email at newsdesk at dorsetecho.co.uk. That's newsdesk at dorsetecho.co.uk. Or you can contact me directly um, via my email, which is sam, full stop, McEwen at newsdesk, uh, sorry, uh, sam, full stop, McEwen at newsquest.co.uk. McEwen spell M-C-K-E-O-W-N. Okay, have a wonderful day everyone.